I annually report more death than birth in Freeburg. There is cafe charged with health and safety violations. Red cat rescues girl from rapist. All right then. <laughs> Who did it come to work today? Why? I'm too tired. No. 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 Alright. No music. Oh yeah, I be for the detective. Okay, so hmm. oh yeah, I need detectives. Um, um. Right. Um Right then, fight. Retire retiree Manny Barch called in a report of the fight between a little girl's father and a dog lover where what Weller had frightening the child while the men were busy settling matters, the dog was spotted running toward the amusement park. Okay, uh, two officers. Uh. Well, no for assembly. You seen City Hall's unhappy target for the spontaneous demonstration some 20 people had gathered to protest against the increased garbage tax. The protesters are behaving peacefully but are demanded to be with city officials. Okay, um... Maybe I could send three. All right, well done, officers. Nine ten B in progress. Two sixteen complete. Okay, while Tiffany Lee while fitting the local mall encountered a hooded man who grabbed her expressive bag and bolted to meet the good police isn't that the mall safe anymore? the man must be doing a bit of research ok so uh, I'll go send two alright awesome hmm. Uh, the offender attempted to escape the mall, but guards blocked the door. He turned and fled back inside and looking for another way out. Uh, the offender ran into a skating rink, then slipped and fell on the ice as he struggled to regain his 43 portable in his pocket. Use paper spray on him. <laughs> Office, obvious, easy. Answer. <laughs> Counterfeiting. A man, uh, I mean, <laughs> a woman put up a tent in the park and is inviting everybody to come buy a new highly profitable 
currency, which will rise 10 times in value over the coming weeks. A long line has already formed and people are trying to push Chris Chubber. Okay, um... I got sent free. God damn lightning. Okay. Uh. 9-11 in progress. Okay, the theft. Frank Conroy's water was stolen at the bus stop. He quickly noticed the loss and he turned in for the pickpocket with his friends. The group is blaming everyone in sight, and the situation is quickly escalating. The matter may soon come to blows. Okay. Uh. All right. Awesome. Well done, officers. Ooh, funny. This orderly conduct. A man came to the hospital with a very large dog. The dog was on the leash, the bone its muscle, but it was growling and jumping on the other patients. The duty nurse warned the man that it was against hospital policy to bring animals into the building, but the man just snarled at her but, and refused to listen. Okay, uh I send it a noob. Oh, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> What's wrong with you officers? <laughs> Mass riot. Possibly 100 people had gathered in a park to protest the construction of the new casino near the cemetery soon after a group of pickup trucks pulled up and several strong men climbed out. Without saying a word, they began to fly with the demonstrators. Right, it's a good way for a few more seconds. <laughs> well, I knew that would happen. <laughs> you useless. Okay, so... My phone sent... Oh, it's the hermit part from my bird. <laughs> useless. Assault. Um, a long DJ upon exit 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 a store into a strange looking man wearing a black and red robe. First, a man knocked his energy drink from the DJ's hand and told him of the merits of drinking human blood. His demeanor became threatening and he demanded money for. Protection from the force is of darkness. A fight between the two men erupted during which the, the DJ suffered several bites. The attacker then began to cause other passers by including a frightened group of teenagers and then sunk his teeth into the shoulder of the older woman. Okay, I thought. Well, I could send a newbie. That's all I could do. We've got a situation here. 
the fight is in a full swing and some of the combatants are carrying weapons. Um, Alright, awesome. <laughs> nice. Well done, officers. <laughs> well done. Okay, nothing. Nothing. And, well, obviously he's useless. He's useless. <laughs> um, I don't work. Hmm. Not yet. I can't buy him. Yeah, <laughs> not three times in a while. Well, my phone will end the day. <laughs> right. Order to work. I know most of them is very tired, so. <laughs> According to Mrs. Markham, I was supposed to spend all day thinking up the right words. But to my surprise, I did my best work when I shut my head off. I didn't even want to think why Laura decided we'd meet at 3 o'clock in the morning and in a restaurant we'd never gone to. I didn't know what to tell her. And something tells me she's no more ready for this meeting than I am. By nightfall, I finally stopped worrying. The right words would come when they were needed. And if they don't come at all, then so be it. All right, then. Oh dear, what happened there? I've heard said, when you're knocked out by a single blow, you don't have time to feel any pain. Well, that's a lie. It's painful as hell. Every day I spent in that coma, the pain was unbearable. What is this? Wild corporations? Um. Oh, what? Well, come on! Oh, come on. Can I retry that? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Day 55? 50? No. 25 days? Wow, that's unexpected. <sighs> Day 56. Yeah, I heard about that already. But what if they decide to spill it to the papers? We need to start thinking now about covering our asses. I know people who can deal with this, but they'll need at least a week. Plus, if we wanted... Lieutenant Stat, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I have Jack Boyd on the line. Who? Jack Boyd, sir. He's calling from the hospital. <sighs> Gibson, I'll call you back. Don't do anything without my team. Jack, well, wow. I didn't know you were awake. The doctor said you could be in that coma for months, even years. How are you feeling? Tell me who's in control, Martin. I don't think I follow you. For God's sake, Martin, tell me it's you running the department and not some stooge from the mayor's office. Uh, yes, Jack. I am performing the duties of the police chief, but the new man's coming on Saturday, Kevin Paulson. He... Kevin Paulson? Yes, it's the guy from the... I know who Kevin Paulson is. 
Now listen carefully, Martin. I'm coming back to work. I'm Freeberg's police chief, and it's gonna stay that way for another four months. Now you get on the phone and do whatever needs to be done. You run into any problems, threaten them with the media, court, or blackmail. But I don't think they'll give you any trouble. The mayor knows it's easier to just wait until the winter than deal with a scandal. Oh, and assemble a press conference. Listen, Jack, I know the truth is on your side, but you have to take into account... Martin, how long since you transferred to my department? Uh, coming up on five years now. How many times in the last five years have you come to my birthday party? How many times have you come to the farm when I had the boys over? Uh, never had the pleasure, but... Never, because you couldn't care less. And I don't care for you either, Stet. It wasn't me who appointed you deputy, and uh, you wouldn't have been my first choice. But if you do ever come over to my house, you won't miss the big hole in my backyard. Garbage pit. You know, for old rubbish. A smelly hole filled with rotten furniture and other crap. So, Stet, if I even for a moment doubt your devotion, you'll go straight into that pile of trash. Maybe you'll get to catch up with some old friends. You remember Kendrick, don't you? I'll schedule the press conference for tomorrow, all right, Jack? The day after tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going shopping. <laughs> okay, that's loud. <laughs> 57. <laughs> Ooh. A new car. Now you have a new car, we hope it will help you fulfill your, all your secret dreams. Nice, nice. Now you have a new clothes, we hope it will make you feel younger. Now you have a new hairstyle, we expect that this youngest head of hair will easily convince everyone that you are a king among men. Huh. Oh. You now have a new attitude, <laughs> for now on you are a true warrior, one who will not suffer the idiots who stand in his way. You are independent and self-confident. One last detail is missing. Fashionable sunglasses. They will give a final touch to your new image. The image of peerless tiger. Good morning. <laughs> How can I help you? Um, thank you, I know exactly what I want. Uh, oh, I hide the box. <laughs> now you had a new fashionable sunglasses. May they transform not your own appearance, but how you feel. <laughs> no, that would be too much. <laughs> that's a waste of money. Five hundred dollars for the sunglasses. That's a waste of money. Day day fifty eight. <laughs> wow, Jack! What's with the outfit? You planning on- The pit in the backyard, Martin. Always remember about the pit in the backyard. Don't talk to anyone before the press conference starts. I'll try to get you on stage quickly. Kevin Paulson is here. He wanted to- Jack! I hardly recognize you. That's quite an image for a man like you. An old dog with a new trick, right? We should see each other more often. How long has it been? Last time I saw you, I fired you, Kevin. Ha! <laughs> you mean the day I resigned in protest? over the corruption and lawlessness at your police department, right? Yeah, repeat that shit often enough, someday you might start believing it. You know, Jack, I'm glad that everything turned out so well. Unlike you, I've made good use of the past seven years. My new construction company keeps getting jobs from the city, and we're doing really well. I have a new house, new hobbies, even a new wife. Maybe you've met her, Shelly Rogers. Oh, Shelly Rogers. So you really are in bed with the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dream come true. All my dreams have come true. Only one thing remains. 
to bring order to the Freeburg Police Department. <laughs> you being serious, Kevin? I'm serious as ever, Jack. I'm the most serious man you know. It's not often you see the past and the future Freeburg Police Chiefs at the same press conference. <laughs> I hope you have time to talk, Kevin. There's something we need to discuss. Jack, the reporters, they're waiting for you. My retirement plan somehow just got turned into a circus. Fortunately, I'm pretty good at swallowing swords and jumping through burning hoops. They all seem to like it. Good morning. <laughs> With the boy, is that new hairstyle? Yes. <laughs> I feel like a different person, so I figure I look like one too. Do you know the person who attacked you? Uh, hard to say. Everything happened so fast that I couldn't see his face. I had to admit it's possible that it was someone I know. City Hall has yet to give a definite answer as a further he will be going to your post. Do you believe Rogers will decide in your favor? Uh, four. I frequently cheat the police whether he likes it or not. Do you think what happened to you somehow affected you? We'll see. Why? Guess. Let's wait a bit and find out. Thank you. Day 59. Jack Boyd recovers from head injury. Jack Boyd and Unable to name attackers, she frees Phillies awakened from coma. Oh, yeah, look at that engine. I'm too tired. Really? <laughs> really? Okay, fine, yes. I'm too tired. No. <laughs> no. Yes. What the hell? <laughs> Why is that? Oh, well, they might well <laughs> promote me Nally, I guess. Ah, uh, no music. Five officers, that's not good. What the hell? <laughs> Okay, Jack, while you're in the hospital, a hunt was declared on all cops. It's like all criminals in the city suddenly went savage. They are calling officers one by one and beating them to death. Our boys have died refusing to ride out on calls alone. When the situation is real bad, even two will refuse to go. Okay. Oh, good. Um, there's five officers. Um, shift A. Okay, yeah, shift A. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, um... Alright then. Oops. 211 in progress. Uh... Vandalism. A pastor saw three teenagers settling fire to a parked car. According to an eyewitness, 
you can still catch them if they are just walking down the street. Not even in a hurry. Right. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Really? Got no detect. Okay. Um. God <laughs> Damn it, can't do anything about it. <sighs> awesome. Fair, they took her to guard there is a suspicious gang of teenagers hiding things under a jacket that they walked past the checkout when he asked them to stop. The teenagers scattered in all directions. They rang out of the store into a parking lot. The guard called the police and said they couldn't go far. Hmm, okay. Reckless engagement. An identified woman said that a strange surgeon is operating without a license from the basement of her house. He hardly looks like a real doctor. He's old, maybe senile, and always seems drunk. Okay. I can't trust hold because he got alcohol on his. By next to him. Great, well done. Well done. Six eleven in progress. Way based okay. Um a student couldn't get into a town room. It was locked from the inside and he heard muffled cries coming from within. It sounded like someone was raping my girlfriend. Okay, so wait a moment. In a dirty basement, a tutoring old man is digging inside a young man's whip. Open stomach. Damn. Oh. Uh. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Four ten B in progress. Just in time. Homicide. A nurse report that she saw an elderly woman cuts off her husband life support system at a car accident left him in a coma for months. I know his case was hopeless, but it's still murder. The greatest sin of all. According to the nurse, the one was blocked off to the ward. Okay. Oh. Well, okay, <laughs> that was a false alarm. Joker took hold in, he said, and ran, stopped on the side of the road. 
and three large men got into shovels. Then someone fell to the ground. Out of the back of the van, I think they had his hand tied up. They hit him in the head with one of the shovels and led him into the woods. Mm. Hold on. Uh. Go, go, go. Okay, it could wait. Oh, oh. Okay, it could wait, it could wait. Just a few more seconds. Ah. Uh. Uh, I can't. Damn it. <laughs> Got enough time. Nine ten C in progress. Oh, no, no, no. Armed robbery. I eyewitness report that three armed men burst into a jewelry store. They threw a shotgun charge followed. Then a few more minutes later, he goes staggered out of the store, breathing in her stomach. She fell to the pavement unconscious. Okay. Well, my like, well, send us. Well. Well, I can't do anything then. <laughs> The fire was empty, the engine is warm in the area, it's sorry, it's dark. Uh, um. Oh shit! Oh shit, what is his name, Quintuan? Is dead now? Oh shit. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, great. Now we've got four officers left. Oh, what's the point of these detectives? I was used to it. Didn't find anything. Hmm. Uh, you know what? Um. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Impressive recovery, Mr. Boyd. I'm still not happy about how soon you're back to work. Well, not happy as your doctor. As a resident of Freeburg, I'm immensely grateful for it. Really? <laughs> Just don't tell anyone, or they'll pull my license. Well, thank you again for coming to see me at night. Oh, well, whatever you need, Mr. Boyd. Any doctor in this town would come running any hour, day or night, you can believe me. You're not suffering from headaches. It says here that you are taking painkillers after a back injury. But the prescribed dose is enough to us. Dr. Krachinsky, you trust me? And, uh, sorry? Do you trust me? In what way, Mr. Boyd? You think I'm an honest and reasonable man, Doctor? You're joking, Mr. Boyd. Thanks to you, my wife finally agreed to buy a house here, and we decided to have children. Thanks to you, I'm not afraid to visit my patients at night. I think you are the most honest and reasonable person in the city, Mr. Boyd. Great. You see, Dr. Krachinsky, uh, I'm an addict. Mr. Boyd, is, uh, is... Well, not a drug addict in the way you might imagine. I'm not some weak-willed junkie. Sometimes I stay clean so long that the tablets stay locked in the barn so long they go past the expiration date. But there are less pleasant stories. You know what... Let's... I once took a whole bottle right there in the barn, passed out my own vomit. I almost choked. I fought the convulsions, somehow managed to break four ribs. For two weeks, my chest was so sore I wanted to die. But for those two weeks, I kept swallowing pills. Couldn't stop. 
If you want, I could... Uh... I once took a dose right before a party at home. My wife Laura had some old friends over from college. And I didn't take that many, maybe five or six pills, but it felt like I'd taken a few hundred. I passed out while I was carrying a tray of drinks. On the way down, I knocked over a set of Laura's scented candles. The house almost burned down. The repairs took a good chunk from our savings. Mr. Boyd, if you'll allow me, I just... Uh... As you can see, Doctor, I'm well aware of the seriousness of the situation and the possible consequences. But sometimes I need the pills. I don't use the word lightly. Sometimes I've got to work on cases with more energy than I've got. I can't do it without them. And I know you want me doing my job. So tomorrow, I want you to come here and bring me some tablets. Lots of tablets. Ten bottles. No, no, better fifteen. Yeah, fifteen bottles. The next three months are going to be extremely difficult, Doc. I would like to discuss your... Um... You'll bring the pills, Doctor? Uh, yes, Mr. Boyd. Yes. Very good. Look, I don't want to trouble you any further. I bet your family doesn't like you running away with me at night. I bet they'd rather I was still in that coma. <laughs> Day 60. Rogers is responsible for Freebird PD breakdown. Kevin Paulson repairing to take helm at FPD. Mayor Rogers supports Kelvin Paulson, next police chief. I trust my family. <laughs> You're too tired. No. <laughs> no. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. I drank too much. Mm. Yes. No. Oh my god. No. Jesus Christ. My god. Alright. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> right. Hmm. No going shift A. Yep, shift A. Ah. Uh. It's always been shift A. Hmm. Four ten B in progress. Oh, straight on. Homicide, two teenagers. We're sitting on some steps and smoking. A black man approach and ask for a cigarette. Go ask somebody else. Monkey. Okay. The adolescents responded. The man grew in rage, really quickly pulled. Have a knife and drove it into a chest to the teen to one of the teens, according to the teenager who managed to escape. Then he took a cigarette quietly, sat down on a desk um, and a dot and dot smoking. Okay, um Then according to him, it's almost quiet for a few seconds. 
Then I heard something about laundry, a detergent, and bridge, and then some music died playing. Okay, uh... More so, electrician... Hmm. Jason Pewitt was conducting a... Regulate by soon at the Transformer substation and found a dirty hairy bum who pounced a on him like a wild bear. The homeless man at bit him pretty severely ripping a piece of flesh from his hand. The electrician was stung but managed to run away from the substation, leaving a suspect inside. Okay, I can't do anything about it. Until the other officer is back. Again with the false alarm. Come on, come on, come on. Damn it. Damn it, we're too late. Uh, God damn it, with this slowness. Okay, carjacking. Two people were lying in wait for the pan medics to go for the usual coffee. And then they made off with the ambulance. We literally turned away for less than a minute. Okay, oop. Uh, uh. The cleanest thing freeber which were which would be widely covered in IT between three and four from uh, city service including the police should come out clean up. Okay, sure. Okay, matter of fact, about a dozen homeless people were sitting through a landfill for a viable and came across a case with a combination lock while they were deciding how to split the contents. The group began to fight. A few of them would have knives, a night when his call the police and reports that some seemed ready for a fight to the death. Alright, my first send all of them. I can't do anything about it until the officers are back. One thirteen A in progress. Ah, oh, damn. Huh. Okay. Uh. Different force. Okay. Three officers. What do you have? One. Uh. Three. Okay. It could work. Uh. Shit. Um. I don't know. Okay, 
Oh, ho, ho. There we go. I know I didn't read it. <laughs> Got enough time. Oh, God damn it. <sighs> How many officers do you need? Five. Vamos at the night club with you then turns to fight low life in ten death. Sweat fires and sweat and sweat pants will chase off the women. The lie low like guy angry at the time. Oh god damn it. I can't oh nothing nothing at all. Come on. A man is standing outside the window, pressing his nose against the glass and touching himself under his coat. What? Huh? Uh. Two fourteen complete. Oh. Uh. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's no officers available. Oh, come on! Really caught jacking into false alarm? <sighs> well. Okay. Well, my phone. A perfect way to end it here for today. For today's video. So I hope you enjoy it. And I will do another video straight after this. So like and subscribe for more video. And I'll see you guys. In the next video.